Hi everyone, Rubber Mold Man here. Uh, just going to do a quick video showing uh, some of the new designs we're going to be adding uh, to our store uh, as far as mold designs and also a few of the tips on how I painted these. Now first I just want to apologize real quick uh, how long it's taken me to do more videos. We've had a couple setbacks in our family. Uh, our One of our daughters uh, had some serious health issues the past few months. Uh, so we were dealing with that and then as soon as she started getting better my mother goes and has a stroke. So it's been uh, a little time consuming taking care of those situations. We now have not only our four children to look after, but my wife and I now have to take care of my mother as well as my uh, older, uh, very disabled brother. So uh, I apologize. I will get back to the videos and uh, things are just the same for our mold business. That's how we support the family. So no problems there. Uh, but this video is just to show you a few of the new items that I'm adding. Uh, for instance, this three-piece gator. I apologize, my shadow's in the way there, but I'll try to get this. Uh, the three-piece gator. Now, there's a few different versions of the three-piece gator. Uh, they're very popular design. This one's a little more cartoony, as you can see there in the face, uh, with the big eye. And what I've found is that this is actually becoming our best seller as far as the big three-piece gators. People just love that big eye, even though it's not realistic. Now, granted, the green color is not realistic for an alligator. Gators are actually pretty bland looking in nature, but most people associate the color green with gators. Uh, so I do them mostly green like this. Sometimes I do them more of a gray, but the green definitely sells a way better. In the case of this, I painted it with a black base coat like I had showed in a previous video, followed by a dry brushing of a dark green, then a light green, a very light dusting of some like yellow highlights along the ridges, and then I uh, detailed the eyes. And because his eyes are so big, I didn't bother trying to do a realistic eye because it didn't look right. I just did that big cartoony eye, and people seem to uh, way prefer that. It sells really good. This uh, mold will be available uh, starting uh, as of the posting of this video, actually, we're going to first list it with one of our eBay sellers. So if you're watching this video the first week of March 2016, uh, it will be on eBay. So just check out the details of this video, and I'll have the uh, uh, eBay uh, member that you can find this mold at. This is a perfect mold for a beginner. Even though it's really large, super easy. No seams in either the rubber or the fiberglass, and you get all three pieces so you can make the entire big gator. Uh, perfect mold. Great seller, too. Now, you're probably seeing that skull back there wondering what the heck it, I'm doing with the skull there. Uh, yes, that is a concrete statue of a human skull. It's pretty much life-size. Uh, believe it or not, those things sell extremely well. Uh, especially, you know, a lot of people buy something like this gator or another, you know, gator design. And the husband's usually like, hey, let me get a skull to put in under the bush near it. They just love it. Simple easy to use mold. Uh, those skulls sell for 20 25 bucks, and there's nothing to them. It's just a simple two-piece mold with a seam up the back. I painted it by, uh, again, starting with a black base coat and then just dry brushing two or three layers of progressively lightening uh, brown until I got to that kind of uh, off-white uh, finish on the top, and it gives it that nice, almost realistic-looking skull effect. So that mold is, too, available now. Uh, next is a new Cocker Spaniel design. Uh, we always have people asking for new dog designs. Uh, we have a Cocker Spaniel already, uh, but this is a new kind of laying down design. This was painted again with a black base coat, then I uh, highlighted it with some gray and white, and uh, uh, just somebody had shown me a design recently where they added like a little bit of yellowish tint to the white top coat So I tried that. I don't know if I'm a fan of it, but I've seen more and more of that kind of finish uh, But super easy to do painting that dog took me all of maybe a minute from beginning to end uh, so uh, Very simple piece again. No seams in the, the rubber on that mold just a two-piece fiberglass that mold will be available as of today as well next this is a piece I've had for a while, but I discontinued it for a while uh, because I needed a new pattern for it. Well, I got it. Uh, just finished up my first statue out of it here, so we're going to put that back uh, in our store. This is the giant toad or frog. Extremely detailed, and these frogs, uh, any frogs usually sell great for yards. They're a known uh, piece. People love them for the yard. Uh, this one is extremely detailed, very large. I painted them a little different than I usually do. Instead of the black base coat, I did a kind of a moss green and then just uh, highlight it with different colors and actually used a spray to highlight around the legs there with a little bit of dark. Not sure I'm going to do that much anymore, but kind of gave it a little different look than most of my other pieces. But again, that mold will now be available as well starting on the auction this week. And finally, of our newest items, this is my absolute favorite. I'm calling him the Country Gator. Uh... He's made to where he has a hole in his hand where he can stick a stick to put uh, what I did there was the fishing rod or uh, he can hold a flag or a sign, whatever you want. I absolutely love this guy. I think he's adorable. Uh, the way I painted him, again, 
black base coat, completely black first. Then I did a dark green dry brush coat, then uh, highlighted that with a light green, put a little bit of uh, yellowish in under his uh, chin and on his belly there to highlight that. A little bit of rose dusting on the cheeks there to make it look like he's blushing or, you know, make him look a little cuter, I guess. And then I just did a little detailing on the teeth and the eyes. And that's it. That piece will probably sell for 40 to $50, and he's not that big, and yet uh, he'll be extremely popular. Stuff like that just flies off my shelves. People love them. Uh, and I gotta admit, that's one I would probably get for myself. You know, I make a lot of these things, a lot of them I don't know why people buy them, but they do. That's one I would buy for myself. I think he's absolutely adorable. So that's some of the new items here at my shop, uh, out here in the work spot, spot in the back. Just thought I'd uh, show you these. Again, starting tonight, once this video goes live, these very molds, plus a few others, will be available via auction on eBay. So you can get your own molds and make these exact same items. Uh, after those auctions are over, however, you'll be able to buy them directly from me through my website, which is rubbermoldman.com. Again, all that info will be in the details of this video, so just check that and it'll direct you where to go. But again, uh, thanks for watching. I'll be back with my regular how-to videos uh, as far as painting and making concrete statuary very soon. Thank you and have a good day. Bye-bye.